this corner, y'all, it's your boy Briaco. And it's so cold, baby, why? How the mm, I supposed to get by? Alright, let me stop messing with you. Let me take this hood off. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm coming to y'all today with this video about my top five favorite cheesiest movies. Yes, cheesiest means corny movies, but you just love everything about them. So, like I did with my other ones, I'm gonna start from number five and count it down to number one. So here we go. Got my stash right here. All right, number five on the list is a black exploitation flick from 1975. And a lot of people may not even know anything about this cat. They may not know about the movies or anything, but like Kid in House Party, I was raised on these movies. And this is The Human Tornado, starring Rudy Ray Moore as Dolomite. Now, Dolomite is the, um, the original movie. The Human Tornado was actually the sequel to Dolomite. And my mother always gets on my case because I always pronounce the name of the movie wrong. It's supposed to be The Human Tornado, not Tornado. Tornado. So this is just one of the silliest movies, but one of my favorite parts is when um, Dolomite is rolling down the hill butt naked and then when by the time he gets to the bottom of the hill he's fully clothed because he got busted for um, sleeping with the sheriff's wife who happens to be white and of course the acting is terrible, the um, karate and kung fu in it is absolutely horrific, but it is just the cheesiest and the funniest thing of all time. Number four is a rather recent film, and this was a movie that I actually hopped in the movies to go and see. I didn't even pay for it. Um, I went to see Crash that day. I paid for that. Excellent movie if you haven't seen that. Anyway, this is Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Now, this movie just, I mean, it was just so crazy. I, I did not stop laughing and screaming in the movie because it was like once you got over the last scene, here come another scene that just made you just scream and laugh and just holler and everything. It was absolutely crazy. So that's number four. Number three is a movie that a lot of y'all may not have even heard or know exists, but it's one of those um, low budget movies that went straight to DVD and my mother is the one that actually brought this movie home. She, you know, has a membership at Blockbuster and she checks the black cinema section and found this video because some, she knew some of the names of the people that were in the movie and she brought it home and thought that we would like it. Little did she know that it would just become like a staple in my house and this movie is called The Breaks and it stars Loretta Devine, Paula J. Parker, Clifton Powell, who's in all those um, ghetto plays like, you know, your arms are too short to box with God and I lost my mama, what am I gonna do? My father gonna jump off the roof. Those stupid little plays like that. This is just a really silly movie about a, a white boy um, raised by a black family and he can't get no job, he has no money, his life is just ruined so his mom kicks him out, he has to feed for himself. Very, very, very silly and funny movie. Y'all should try to find it. It shouldn't be too hard to find, but, you know, it's out there. Number two is one of my favorite movies of all time, but it's just a cheesy movie, but to me, it's a classic. It's a hip-hop classic, and it is House Party. Now, I already mentioned this earlier. There were so many lines in this movie that I can just recite because it was just really funny. I loved um, their friendship, even though Clay was kind of trifling at times. Kid was very sincere. And um, I always wanted him to get with Tisha Campbell in the movie. I didn't really like Sheree because she was, uh, she was a hot, she was playing them. But whatever. This is just one of my favorite movies and I really love the music from it. And the number one movie, the number one cheesiest movie of all time that I absolutely love is... The Last Dragon! This is the movie that made me buy a DVD player. I was holding out because I wanted to wait until I was able to record TV shows on a DVD player. And I had been looking for this for years on video and it had been out of print. And then one day I just happened to be in the store and I saw a whole bunch of them. And I was like, is this ever gonna come out on video? The guy said no, and I said, all right, fine. Same day I went up with the DVD player, came into the store, got this, and it's been history ever since. This movie is one of the most Gosh, most um, quoted movies in history. Growing up, 
And um, in Harlem, this, whenever this movie came on TV, the street was clear. The street was empty, just like on Thursday nights when Martin, Living Single, and um, New York Undercover used to come on TV. When they showed this on Sunday afternoons, the hood was at home. Nobody was in the street. Everybody wanted to catch this because everybody wanted to do the, recite the, the parts. Who's the master? And Leroy! And all kind of stuff. And, you know, of course, everybody loved Laura Charles. Vanity, you know, that was my chick. Um, she was so nasty. Now she's, you know, sanctified. She's saved now, y'all. She knows the love. Hallelujah! Thank you! And, you know, this movie, this movie will never, ever die. This is just one of the best movies ever made. Coming out of one of the best decades of all time. So, this video, Everybody that watched this video, that makes videos, you're all tagged. Top five favorite cheesiest movies. Do a little explanation, whatever you want to do it, all y'all are tagged. Make response videos, post them down here. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody who don't make videos to post your five favorite cheesiest, cheesiest movies in the, um, the comment section. And... Shout out time, and you know me with my list. Cause there's so many of y'all and I'm just gonna name you guys so listen out for your name I love each and every one of y'all R.A. Jr. I figure since you're Spanish that's probably how you pronounce your screen name R.A. Jr. Um, S.F. Calvin A.C. Don't think I know what that but I don't think that I don't know what that means Videos by X.Q. July Fear Mr. Chiron Buttercup 11882 Cool 1975. What's up, sweets? GTV. Hey, sister. I love you, sis. DKD Peterson. The Complex One. Mr. H Hi. That's how you got it spelled, brother. I don't know if that's how you intend on pronouncing it, but Mr. H Hi. Oh, she suck it up, too. <laughs> Wrath, too. Loves me, Patty. I think I'm saying that wrong. Um... My dude from Texas, the boy Slick and RDA for life. Love you, brother. Big ups to you. Onyx35880. Shout out to you, brother. I love you, man. Uh, Mr. ATL567. What up, dude? Um, and I got a special request for a shout out from Ariel and Andrea Show. And that's Tiffany from California who now lives in Florida. Hey, sis. And last but not least, Soul Flavor Candy, my dude from the Lower East Side is moving to Richmond Hill. What's going on, brother? Anyway, much love to all you guys. I'm looking forward to anybody that feels inspired to do a response video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. I would just love to just share with, with you guys. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. You know where. Love you, baby.